Alright Taurus, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of January 17th through January 23rd of 2021. Alright, it just kind of threw me off Taurus because you've had all this new love energy coming in the last few weeks. And here is your energy of the week, number 14, the caring connection. So it seems like Taurus, you've gotten over your fears and you were able to start this new um, caring connection. And clearly um, you see two very happy people um, that are very um, kind of, I feel like th these are two people who are really matched for each other. Um, it is number 14 that is sticking out to me and then that could mean something for someone that could be like a date um, that you met somebody or something like that um, but I do feel like this is a new connection Taurus just because you've had so much new energy um, so, so much new love energy coming in all right and then let's see a challenge or obstacle that you might face this week Taurus you have the king of swords and then a lesson that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. You have the Three of Swords, which you've gotten in this position before. And then outcome for the week, there it is. The King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Alright, so let's get started. Um, caring connection is super easy. This is a very um, important connection in your life. Um, this can be considered like a soulmate situation. This is someone who the universe has brought to you, Taurus, um, that is like a match. And this is your energy. So I'm just saying, if by now this energy has not come in, it is literally this week. <laughs> but if this energy, which I feel has already come in and you have already met this person, I feel like this energy just gets stronger as the week goes through. So first your challenge or obstacle is the king of swords and this tells me that you're having like a hard time planning something out um, you're having a hard time figuring out like oh what do I do from here this could be because this is a new situation but I feel it's because the kings are all about action they take action and I feel like you're just this situation this could be like you're nervous like it's a new person and you might be a little nervous and you're not sure what action to take or like when to take it um, that kind of thing but the lesson that's going to help you that with this challenge or obstacle that you've already learned, you have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is about like a painful heartbreak. It's some sort of relationship that you went through that really taught you something about like love or it taught you something about yourself. It made yourself um, like more powerful because you released whatever this pain was and you were able to start this new beginning. The moment you release that, this now becomes a lesson that you've learned that's going to help you forever. And so whatever that painful situation is that you release that helped you be able to start this caring connection is what's going to help you figure out um, what steps to take. So immediately what I'm picking up here is that you need to communicate um, with the person more and if you are having difficulties maybe like you haven't dated in a long time kind of thing and you're not really sure like how things are done these days something like that so I feel like if you just talk to the person you're gonna see that they almost have like the same they're gonna like almost mirror to you the same um, concerns like the same fears maybe like they don't really know what to do either and it could also be to say um, to take things really slowly but what I'm getting here is, so we have the full moon coming and that full moon um, is the first full moon of the year. Um, it's the first time we're releasing something big, right? And it has something to do with the new energies that came in. So it is possible, Taurus, that this new energy that came in with that last new moon that brought in this new caring connection or this new love energy that's been coming for weeks. Um, I feel like it's happened now and what's going to happen is on this full moon you're going to release this painful heartbreak. You're going to release this and that is what's going to help you be able to move forward and know what steps to take from then on because the outcome is the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles is the king who has like the most right 
he has everything out of the, 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 the tarot deck. He's the king of the pentacles, which is your things, your worth, your finances. Um, this can be family, friends, your loved ones. It's everything. Um, the king is someone who is very content, very happy. He does not need anything else. He has literally everything he needs. And that's exactly what's going to come for you, Taurus, after this big release when this new uh, full moon is coming. So what I feel like what's happening this week is you're going to start taking small action to be able to get yourself prepared for this full moon because the full moon doesn't come until next week. So I feel like you are preparing yourself. You are taking that action with both of these kings coming up saying that you are going to release this heartbreak and you are ready for this new start. A much better match. I, I really pick that up where it's someone who really matches you very well, Taurus. All right, and then I want to do uh, two Queen of the Moon Oracle guidance cards. We did this last week, and we did one for the beginning of the week and one for the end of the week, and I really felt like it came out really well. Um, so I do want to do that again. So beginning of the week, you have Will. Um, it is the waxing agibius state it's will is like where um you are driven you are powerful you know you have the willpower to get something done and it's landing on top of this release so i feel like you know you are fixing to release this so that you can move on into this much happier more positive energy and then for the end of the week sovereignty Wow. Okay, so it can't get any better than that. I do want to pull the book out because number 41, it is the Queen of the Moon. And it is a very important card in this tarot deck. You will notice that it is on the cover. Um, this card is also on the um, a box that this uh, Oracle deck comes in. So it's a very important card and it's amazing that Taurus you're getting this card and I just want to bring this up. You've got 14 caring connection here with the one and the four and I just noticed sovereignty with number four and the one. So wow. Um, but it says you have sovereignty over your own life. Act with grace and confidence. You have the ability to unite desperate people and views should you choose to do so. The buck stops with you. You are powerful. Act like it. Wow. I feel like that is a clear guidance message uh, for some Taurus out there. And then I do want to pull a Monology Oracle. I have goosebumps, Taurus. Like, wow. Okay, but I do want to pull a Monology Oracle because emotions are going to be a little up and down this week. Like I said, there's a lot of action coming um, this week. I feel like we've kind of really been preparing ourselves um, for what's fixing to happen. Um, in this caring connection situation and so I feel like emotions like you're gonna when he's when this when this card is saying you're powerful act like it I feel like you're gonna have some ups and downs it's possible and um, that you need to be a little bit more confident and just realize how powerful you are for us all right you have full moon and Gemini the answers you need are coming so I feel like that is the guidance for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. It looks like you're going to have an amazing week. As always, if this feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.